Good morning, my friends. I want to welcome y'all to my channel. I appreciate y'all stopping by to check on me. I made it to the boat this morning. Caught the boat in New Orleans. <clears throat> and presently we waiting to load. So they may call me up. Tell me they're ready for, for us to go on dock. So I'll have to pause the video until uh, until I can finish it up. But I'm going to try to get through it pretty quick. I, uh, I prayed over the cards already. As you can see, I'm shuffling. This is my last deck. But, uh, I got a few questions to answer. Let's see what we got here. Dove Williams, Dovey Williams, eighty-six twenty-three. <clears throat> if we're unsuccessful, and this is just part of the, the question, but if we unsuccessful with making the Twin Flame Union, will our connection remain intact in the five D? Yes. Yes, you always. You you. <laughs> Let me put it this way: There is no there is no divorce in the 5D. That is your twin for eternity. Just like someone that's not a twin, they have a a uh, they have a soul. They're not a twin, meaning their soul isn't divided in two. It's like two matches that are lit that are pulled apart. Each match still has a flame. If you have a single match. In the 5D, that person has a soul and it's for eternity. Same applies to twins. Your twin is your twin for eternity. In the 5D. In the 3D, totally different story. Totally different. Your twin might not like you in the in the 3D. <laughs> Just say it. Uh, I hope that answers your, your question, W. Williams. Kylie. Kylie Parry, 365. What does it mean when you say third party? And, uh, oh, okay, well let me explain. Third party can be pretty much a person, place, or thing. Anything that comes between you and your connection is considered a third party, that, no matter what it is. If, uh, excuse me just a minute. Hey, George, right now, George, right now, to get it, please. Where are you at? Uh, here, and excuse the radio, the but uh, I can't turn the radio off because I'm waiting for the doctor calling me. Call on the cell or on the radio. Hmm. So let's see. Yes. A uh, third party could be anything that comes between you and that connection is a third party. So if if you have a connection with somebody and they bring in a person, that's a third party. That's going to that's gonna come between you and that connection. Unless you have one of them, what they call them, polynormous, whatever the hell that is. They're one of them, them poly relationships that are, you know, it's like a, a third party flank, you know, everybody, one of them group things. Hmm, no, I, I'm like, I'm good. I'm, I'm fine. Oof, can't handle that. <laughs> anyway, Christina Ferrara five 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 three. Christina Ferrara, please explain what you said about the twin can be taken in a spiritual battle. Boo in in the three D. We are always in a spiritual battle, constantly. This this is like a constant thing that's going on. And what I mean by that is twins are under attack by demons constantly. If a twin leaves another twin, third party, they are taken. If they leave that twin for another, we lost that spiritual battle. They, they are no longer with their twin and that twin connection. So that battle is lost. If they put themselves in a situation where they uh, are tempted, most of the time twins know 
what to put themselves in and what not to. Um, just like I've said before, I, I can walk into a den of demons and not be tempted. It just ain't gonna happen. Uh, but how much you call an old soul? I've been through this a lot, a lot of times. So it is what it is. Uh, some twins, they continue a cycle. Each time they come here, it's a continuous cycle. They do the same thing again and again. It's like they haven't learned, and uh, you would you would think they would, but they don't. Sometimes, I mean, they, and you you lose that battle. You lose them in in spiritual warfare, and uh, then when we get to the five D. They got some explaining to do. Archangels come and they, they have a, there's a council that's formed and kind of like a committee. And they got some explaining to do. Why? And it's decided from there. They steal your twin. They steal your twin here too. You don't lose that twin status. You do lose your gifts when you, when you cross over to the other side. You know, when you go join the enemy camp, of course you're going to lose your your uh, your gifts. Chattahoochee hit hip <laughs> Chattahoochee hippie. What's the strangest thing you've seen while working on the boats? That's an easy one. Dead body. Strangest thing I've seen. I was we were loading at. Uh, uh, I see. I can't remember if we were loading or or discharge. I think we was, we was unloading. At Nine Mile Point, over here in New Orleans, just just kind of north of New Orleans, uh, not too far. Uh, Nine Mile Point is right below Huey P. Long Bridge. There was a little Exxon dock, a little Lou Ball dock right there. We would dock, and a dead body came floating right down the side of the barges. Caught it with the spike pole, what we call a, a pike's pole. We caught it, pull it to the to the barge, we put a rope around, tied off the, and call the coast guard. The coast guard, uh, harbor police came out. Coroner, everybody came out. And, you know, to, uh, you know they, all of the good stuff. But yeah, yeah, uh, a, a dead body, a, a black man. He fell off north of us in in a fleet, and he drowned. And uh, we caught him. Strangest thing, I guarantee. Um, we're gonna do a, a short reading. Uh, let's see what we're gonna start off with. We'll start off with. Uh, let me see. Yeah, we'll start off with the Kipper. Ask the cards, whoever this resonates with. Uh, what's on their mind? What they thinking? I already shuffled the cards and I cut the cards. Uh, ooh. So, as a mature woman, that's what we start off with, and she's the main female in this. In this, now in this situation, this is a female. This is not gender neutral. This is this is a female energy. Expectations. She's lost all her expectations. She has none anymore. And she was a privileged lady, which she is not now. It's in reverse. She's lost some privileges. Um, hmm. Distance horizon. Her future don't look too good. Her, her, and when I say that, and I don't mean like far out in the future. I'm talking about like near future. She, In her mind, she's thinking about it and she's like, it, it doesn't look too good because there was a gift that was reversed, that was taken. This could be either or. This could be a spiritual gift or a person. Because that person can be a spiritual gift, depending on on the situation. Yes. 
Hmm. There was. They thought. They concerned. They concerned. There was a decision made, and they thought that the decision that they made was going to come into some kind of wealth. Not and and wealth can be. Uh, Subjective to the person, okay, meaning a little bit more income, uh, hooked up with somebody that uh, they thought was financially very secure, but they're not, they're concerned, they're concerned, yes, and they want to send. They want to send a message of concern, but then they're yeah, not. Sir, they're not sending it because it's, it's, it's in reverse. So they they're not sending it for whatever the reason is. They they want to send that to somebody. They want to send it to somebody. Yeah. Something to do with the family room and the family. Message of concern. This mature woman had a gift and this is the main female. This is the main female. Hmm. And they thought they was going to come into Southern Wealth. Not because of the, the, the gift that they lost. That gift they had, this is talking about something different. That, that gift they had, they lost that gift. Whether it was a spiritual gift or a are a person. And it's main female anyway. And their concern was because of the expectations they had. Just like I said, there was something involving someone else that they expected to get. And it was there was gonna be a privileged lady. They, they were, they were a a lady of privilege, and they're not no more. They're not no more, and they want to discuss it. They want to bring it to the family room. Whew. They've been working hard. They're working hard, real hard. I'm telling you, this main female, they got a message. This main female, what is this message about? It's about the southern wealth. It's something, the wealth that they had expectations for. They feel childish. They feel like, they feel... Because of the expectations that they, they they feel childish, and this is going to to legal. This is something going to be Please legally adjudicated. This is something that's going to be legally adjudicated. It, it it's I mean it's courthouse, and it's between two people, up between up maybe a group of people. About a home. Something to do with a house. Yes, you see? I can't make it up. I said adjudication. It's, it's something to do. There's something going on, but I don't know what. It's in it's it's 
It's already. And it's involving a, a, a wealthy man. A mature man. Yes, community is involved. And they, they got friends. The community means that people know about it. Some, some friends or whatnot, they know about it. They know what went on. Yes, they left their path, their spiritual path. They walked away from it. And they in despair over it. Yes. And this may have something to do with tax season. 15 is coming, deadline for taxes. Uh, unexpected income reverse, that means that whatever they had coming is not coming. It's, it's either not coming or it's been allocated for something else that's been taken. Uh, they want uh, they want something that they have. They know that they're on a spiritual journey. They know that now. I don't know why they didn't know that before, but they know now that they've been on a spiritual journey. And, uh, hmm, coughing. They know that that... Because... Because of the courthouse pathway and coughing and that journey, they left the path They left the path at the journey that they was on, and and they, they, I know they want to get back to it. The coffin means change or something ended. There's something that's over, and it fell next to the journey. So whatever journey that they may have been on, it's ended. It's it's over. Hmm. Whoever they interested in, whoever they want to get back to, holds a title, an official person. They hold a title, perhaps in management, uh, perhaps if you would be a soldier, they would be, uh, you know, they, they hold a title like lieutenant or major if they're in a police force or oh, somebody's in bad health yes someone's in bad health mm. I eat that soul's journey next uh, someone's in bad here I hope you understand person that they could be interested in holds a title as in captain captain Reed and not that so I'm not I assure you nobody interested in old captain Reed but I'm just giving you an example, i.e. Yes. <laughs> well, Captain Reed has passed his, in, his time of interest, I assure you. Yeah, adversity. I accept the challenge. We're going to be using the soul journey, Oracle. That's the next one I'm going to be pulling from. Hmm. They have a hard time learning. Adversity in reverse. They got a hard time. They, they, it's like they're hard learners. You know? Oof. Hard head make a soft ass. Oof. I guarantee you. My daddy used to take care of that. Promise you that. He'd soften that ass up quick. 
service and reverse. This person, this main female, this this mature woman that's a main female, they want to do good, but let me see how I can say that. They say they they help others, but actually they don't. They want everybody to believe that they help others, but actually they don't. Um, or they want to help others, and financially they can't, but they want to. Either way it goes, they're not helping others. They fear, they're afraid of something. They, they are afraid. Mm. Hmm. See, that landed on top of expectation. They're afraid of their expectations are not going to be met, and it has something to do with wealth, with tangible money, balance. Yeah, their life is out of balance, bad. Their life is, is, they want harmony, they want balance in their lives. They had it, but they lost it for whatever reason. Perhaps the, uh, perhaps, ooh, this one come out in reverse. Mm. They lost a friend. They lost a friend. Oh, I see now. They fear, the fear that they have, the expectations, you see, they expect it to perhaps reconnect with that friend, whoever they had. That friend brought balance into their lives, harmony, healing, in everything, not just one thing, in everything. They brought financial healing. They brought spiritual healing. They brought physical healing. Uh, you name it, that friend. And they lost that friend. For whatever reason, they lost that friend. And it lands on top of distant horizon. So that means that they thought that maybe, maybe, the expectation they have now and the fear that they have now is that they're not going to be able to restore the, the friendship that they had. And they're not going to get balance again. Not like they had. Not like yeah, they really had. Star Fleet. Yes. Success. That gift that they had, oh, whether it was a spiritual gift sir, Cap Rain and James back. I got or one let me let Hello. me read you what the card please, says. Please, please, it says that oh, give me a minute. I'm gonna go with this radio just a little bit. I'm, I'm over here competing with the radio. Anyway, it says about five, ten success. Uh, the gift. The gift that they lost, whether it was a spiritual gift or a physical gift, a human gift, is uh, was a gift of love. That's what it was. It says, I know that there is no greater goal than to love someone. And that fell on top of gift. And they want to surrender. They they give up. They 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 want to give up. They have no patience. That means they James uh Star, I'm gonna switch back over. I'll come back to you in a minute. Right. Okay, thank you. Patience. Let's see. In reverse. It's opposite of patience. 
forgiveness. They know, for some reason, and I don't know who it is, but there's someone that betrayed them and they were harboring or they thought they betrayed them and they were harboring ill feelings and there was no forgiveness and now they know that they need to forgive that person whoever it was or there was ill feelings by mistake and it really it wasn't them that they they have they have they want to talk to somebody they want to talk to somebody uh, and they want to express gratitude for whatever that person did and it falls in the role of the gift whatever that gift was a spiritual gift whatever the gift of love was they want to surrender and they want to say you know what maybe they want to seek I think that's what it is they want to seek forgiveness they want forgiveness maybe they yes they betrayed someone they betrayed the gift and they want to express gratitude and yes they're looking for success in their work and whatever they do they're looking for success and the message that they're gonna send the message that they want to send is a message of acceptance of responsibility they saying, I'm going to take the blame. I know I did what I did. And perhaps. And that don't apply to everybody because they got some. They got some out there that will never take the blame. They will never accept responsibility. And yes. Patience, fear. His fell over child, grief. And they have to make a decision, but they're not sure of what decision they want. They don't want to make a decision. They don't want to, and they doubt, they have a lot of doubt that whatever decision they make is gonna go in their favor. And that's just, I'm telling you, this has something to do with, with the legal. They got self-esteem issues yes and happiness this fell on top of the mature wealthy man happiness card fell on top so they know that their happiness they know that their happiness is involving that mature wealthy man this is not the same one. This got something to do with that gift. That's what that does. Honest. They want to be honest. It's the community. Their friends. Their friends. Uh, I think they want to be honest with their friends. And just come out and say. It, it fell next to that wealthy man. Mature wealthy man. And they want. Yes. They want to get back on their pathway. And and they know that, that they possess the power. God gave them the free will to choose as they would. And they want to choose to get back to that, to that pathway. And failure. They, they understand. They feel like a failure. They feel, and this fell on top of the despair card. Let me show you. This fell on top of the despair card. They feel like a failure. I don't think that they show that. I don't think that they express that out in the open. But on the inside, yeah, I think that they, and I, I, I think that they cry a lot. I think they, they shed tears because this despair, they, they, The love card. Hmm. 
the love card fell on top of courtship. They love somebody. They have unexpected income and worry fell on top of unexpected income. Perhaps they needed that money. Whatever that whatever was unexpected, like taxes, tax return. Perhaps they needed that money. They they were put it this way, they were depending on that for something. Mm. They ending that journey, whatever journey that they were on, they stuck they ending that. I'm telling you, this fell right on top of the journey card in the on the journey card. Let me show you. It's number 10. Number 10 is downloads. They're getting downloads, dreams, intuition. They know. And this is the death card. Change. They know that this is whatever they were doing before, they changing. Whatever it was. It's it's they know it's that that what uh, Yes. Yes. They're going to be using their their intuition when it comes to the, the accepting that it's over, whatever whatever is changing, whatever that the, their spirits, their ancestors, God is downloading into their into their system. They're accepting it. They they saying to themselves, "Yep, we know, we accept whatever." But they're afraid. They're afraid. They don't like change. They don't like. They don't have the confidence to face. Hmm. They don't have the confidence to face the changes they think. Pride. That's the problem. That's the problem. Pride. They got too much pride and ego. Yeah. They got too much pride. Pride and ego is is a is a dangerous thing. Uh, we're going to go with the Panther Oracle next. Hmm. Here we go. Third party. <laughs> Third party. They, they know they're going to have to make some compromises somewhere. The problem with that is... The problem with that is it lands on top of adversary. One of them ain't going to want whoever they want to bring in or whoever they want to talk to because you remember the family room, they want to talk to somebody. And it's got to do with a gift that was lost. I'm going to tell you that right uh, it's, it's, It fell right on top of that. Right, the, the card right up above it. If it's, you want to talk about the gift or to the gift, and I don't think that they're going to compromise. Mm -mm. Yeah. They said they want to remain, they need to remain calm in this situation, but they do have some hesitation because they. about an accident maybe and it fell on top of the legal card yes maybe they had an accident recently or if not they gonna 
like very near future. And I'm not talking about like down the road. I don't do like way down the road predictions. I'm talking about this is going to happen. It's Thursday, tomorrow, Friday. Coming into this weekend, be very careful. This could happen. Or it has happened. Yeah. Dan, Dan Hermit mode, they doing some introspection, they doing some self-healing. Uh, Yeah, a uh, hmm. it could be job change, uh, position change for either the person that this resonates with or the person that they attach to or one of their best friends. It could be a Position change. Intelligence said, "Yeah, there's something. There's something. Indulgence. If if they burn, if they have some type of addiction, they need to chill that prediction that that addiction out. If they, I'm gonna just go ahead and say it. If yeah, no, if they." smoke weed they need to clean up because they're gonna have a a test come up and they can end up because of that job card that came up right here they could end up testing they're pissing hot and then that's the end of that story yep you got two choices to make you can go in rehab or you can lose your job you may end up both Lose your job and go in rehab. Might need to do both. I mean, definitely need rehab. If, if it's that bad, yes, there's a loss. I'm telling you, there's a loss. You, you you better get that cleaned up really quick. They got an accident, and because of the accident, they, they're they going to make some kind of a, of a a rental car reservation or some kind of reservation because of it. And they're going, they they. They want to do some kind of self-healing. Then the next card that comes up is the job card, their profession card. And it, it says that they're going to have some kind of of change, a position change. I don't know if it's an up position or down position, but the next card that comes up is addictions and indulgence, and it stop. And then one after that is a loss. So I'm saying it's a it's a reduction. Not, and they stubborn. Imagine that. They stubborn. They don't want to listen. They don't want to listen. You better, you better get your stuff together, boo. I'm going to tell you that. He, she, this started out as a she, a mature she. Mm-hmm. Somebody that's, I think that they, their status is more than what they have. They think they more have more status than what they really have. Like they think they're all that, but they're not really all that. You better get your stuff together. You gonna push me around, I'll just stay back. Luck in reverse. In reverse. I don't believe in luck, I believe in blessings. So let's say blessings in reverse. And it fit, lands on top of the growth card. Shoop. Not good. Yeah, you need some rest and relaxation. They want some. They want some rest and relaxation. After them cards that just come out, yeah, I would think so. Yeah, you you may want to. What that fell on top of? Yeah, they blame themselves. That's and they're gonna after all of this, they're gonna blame themselves. They probably blame themselves right now. I'm gonna be honest with you. They probably say maybe they don't tell nobody, but because of the the self concern, the self love, the self care, the self healing, they say to themselves, "All oh, this is my fault." Yeah. Hey, come on, you ready? Yeah. Hmm. Grief. On. It's gonna land on top of a grief called disaster. Risk. You take too many risks. 
Stop taking risks. Bet on a sure thing. In fact, don't bet at all. Not until you got the financial stability to bet. Don't do it. But let's see. Blind. Yeah, they're making decisions in the blind. That's why they, they're indecisive. And they got... Somebody wants a commitment with them. Somebody wants a commitment with them, but they're in doubt. They don't want the commitment. They're like, mm, no, I don't think so. I don't know, no, no, no. They'll be like, oh, slow down, slow down, hoss. You're moving way too fast. Mm -hmm. Yeah, somebody wants to go into contract with them. Marriage. Don't have to be marriage. Could just be like a a relationship commitment. They're looking for some advice. They're looking for some advice and some some wisdom, some knowledge. A coach. Pick somebody that's trustworthy. I'm gonna tell you that. Pick somebody that's willing to share your loss because if they're not willing to share your loss, don't listen to them. No. Hell no. I don't listen to nobody that ain't willing to share my loss. I lose by myself. I'll make my own. Yeah. They just want to make some, 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 some gains in, in something. They, they feel like a failure. I mean, this is, right here is the failure card. They, they, they feel like a failure. They just want to, win at something they want to like I said they want to gain yeah yes mm. freedom and that fell Yep, on top of the pathway. They know what the goal is. They know what their, their destination is, their purpose. They want to get back on that path. That spiritual path that they, they came off of. And they're trying to develop a strategy to do it. But they don't know. They don't know. They need the coach to help them do that. Yes. Yes. Hey, buddy, you good? You want you want some help? They they praying. They praying. They hoping. Okay, Wishing a prayer, stability. Okay. Yes, they want some stability. They want to be accepted by that gift, whatever that gift was. They want it back. That's what that is. Okay? They want that gift back. Whatever it was. Spiritual. A person. Whatever it is. They want that gift back. Don't matter who, what it is. Yes. And they're going to try to persuade. Possibly tempt them. Something. But that change. That landed on top of that death card. That change card. Yes. Something. They move, there's some move, there's a change in, there's a change in, in moving, there's a change in, there's that pride card again, boy, man, this person is filled with pride. This person has almost no humility at all. That is the worst characteristic in this person, is pride. If they could drop that and lose it. They think they're all that and then some. And they ain't about nothing. I ain't got to tell you what justice is. Karma, boo. They get it from all ends. In the upright. Calm as smoking that ass. Mm. Oh yeah. I rejected you for someone else. 
This is my mess day. I rejected you for someone else. Green eyes. Yes, they passionate. They sensual. Ah, damn it. They attractive. Whew. I like green eyes. Star seed. That gift was a star seed. Yes, indeed. They got hustle. <laughs> Imagine that. They isolated. They lonely. Yep. They isolated and they lonely. That's on top of that. On top of that uh, self care. Self. That's what they doing. They pulling away. They they pulling away from everyone, and they going into introspection. They 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 examining themselves. Yeah. They got a big white board and they write on that big white board. What was the cause of my problems? First thing, big, big circle, big letters, pride, ego, circle it, and then go off of that. <laughs> go off of that. You betcha. Deep in debt. Eesh. Hot dog. It. Addictions. Again. Whoever this is. They landed right next to the isolation and maybe when they bought themselves they drank. Who knows? Or they do other things. There's all kinds of addictions. I mean, you know. There's a Gemini, the twins. Mm. There's a twin and that fell on top of their friends group, their late indulgence group, the ones that and yeah, the Gemini is in one of them. I guarantee you that. Paul said, Holy Spirit said, yeah. I feel like I'm drowning. Lands on top of loss. I didn't know you was an earth angel. Lands on top of stubborn. And yes, they want to talk to somebody about their gratitude or their lack of and I didn't know you was an earth angel. Imagine yeah, yeah. that. Huh. Aries. The Ram. Yeah. Hmm. I have sweet memories of you. I bet you do. When they when they're not doing nothing, landed on top of relaxation, rest. Um Yeah, when they when they when they're relaxing, they're resting. Their mind drifts off to that. Memories start coming up about spiritual gifts. Land on top of disaster. Yes, and they got grief underneath that. Yeah, they grieving that. They wish they had they had those gifts back. They definitely wish they had whatever gift that is over there. I can tell you that right now. They want that gift back. Mm-hmm. Whoever they tattoo. The plane. The plane. Tattoo. Somebody got some tattoos. Yep. Mm. Oof. Same sex. Maybe they tried it. That's what tri sex is. Tri sex means they try anything. They're not too particular. Hey, they're like, you down for that? Oh, what? Yeah, sure. Clothes fall off in a second. They're like, damn, boo. I was just joking. I was just like, I was just playing. Come on. Put your high heels on, girl. Uh oh, clean slate. That come up a lot. This come up in almost every reading that we have. They want to they start over. Yeah, they want to do over with, with, I think, with that gift that they lost. Yeah, and they want to talk to somebody. They fell on top of coach. Yeah, advice. They want to get some advice on how to. I got way, again, way too much pride and ego. I never wanted to lose you. Fell on top of game and happiness. 
They know where their happiness is at. They backstab somebody. Or somebody backstab them. I believe they backstab somebody too. Because you get what you give. If you backstab somebody, guess what, boo? Somebody gonna... And that fell on top of maintenance. They want to fix whatever they did. They want to try to fix it. They want to establish, reestablish that, perhaps restore, and they involve with a toxic karmic that got tattoos. Imagine that. Sure. Tattooed up. Got a sleeve. Yeah. Yeah. That don't, yeah, whatever. I like to hang my artwork on the wall, not on me. Dreaming of you. Yeah. They dreaming too. That's all dreaming. At night, they dreaming. They put some music on and they start to they may be like, oh, they got weight gain. We had weight loss. I'm telling you, this person is worried about their, 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 they're big time worried about their appearance. They're big time worried about their hazel eyes. They determine it. Oh, yeah. Foresight. Mmm, a deep tanker. Hazel eyes. There's a Scorpio involved. Mm. Now that don't have to be, I'm going to tell you this. Maybe I should have said an air sign. When I said Gemini the Twins, that, that, that could have been a, just a, an air sign. When I said Aries, it could have been a fire sign. And this one is Scorpio. Could be a water sign. Oh, we got another water sign. Cancer. Lord, Lord. Oh, Lord have mercy. Taurus. A Taurus. An earth sign. We got all categories here. <laughs> yep. And it says, I'm struggling. I'm struggling. I'm gonna cover up every lots of regrets. Losing faith in the connection. I feel defeated. And on the Taurus, it says there was no love, it was just lust. So, and on the bottom, oh, upside down, Byron Bridges. Ooh. They poured some gasoline all over them bridges and he said the fire. Lord have mercy. Well, I hope y'all enjoyed the reading. I hope y'all enjoyed the questions that I answered earlier and I'm, I made it to work. The doc hasn't called me yet, but I'm sure they will. I mean, in fact, I'm positive they will. We're supposed to be loading later this evening and headed back to Memphis. So, Y'all stay close to God. He wants to hear from you. He loves you. I love you too. Peace out.